they weren't swinging a slider or splitter. Um, and they were really sticking to their approach at the plate. Um, you know, but he's he's a, a battler, and he definitely just, you know, dug deep and, and got through that. And as soon as he got through that, we, you know, figured out how to kind of tweak our game plan to, you know, get ahead in the count a little more. And, um, you know, he just... He, was, he grinded through that game. Aside from getting ahead, what was different about his stuff in innings two through six? Uh, I mean, when you're ahead, it just opens up a lot of stuff. I mean, it, you know, hey, guys are more. There's no doubt about it. He's got you know, it's you know, it's, your stuff gets better when you're ahead in the count. So, um, you know, that was that was big for him going forward. And uh, but I mean, you know, like you you guys saw, he wasn't as sharp as as I've seen him, um, but he was still able to, to grind out six innings, no runs, and, and put up you know, a really quality start for us, give us a chance to win. Is that a testament to his competitive nature on the mound when he doesn't have the best stuff and still can put up zeros? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, he's the kind of guy who's he's never satisfied unless he's, you know, has a zero run outing. So um, it's, it's definitely a testament to his competitiveness and, and you know, it, it's always great because it gives us a chance to win. What's going through your mind is his pitch counts really getting up there in the first inning. <laughs> well, uh, you know, hopefully we make it out of this soon because uh, you never want to get to the bullpen early. But you know, as soon as he settled in after the first couple hitters, uh, I could tell he, you know, he was he was fine.